Africana Hub. So it's a community hub that we uh, started. Uh, the whole idea is to help uh, the African child. You know, first I started off by saying that help the African child, help the African child, but um, in Canada. But recently we've been uh, getting a lot of uh, emails asking for, or how can how can a child from outside in Africa get help from the same program? The hub was created to bridge some gaps, uh, bridge gaps in education, bridge gaps with kids who are struggling with different issues, mental health issues, and also uh, help parents to understand where they are at. Um, if you're in Canada, uh, what's going on? Most of the people that work with me are all teachers. Being teachers and, and knowing where we are at or where we are from and how our kids can be uh, better uh, supported in the classroom and also at home is the reason why we created it. So we created it to bridge those gaps, um, encourage our kids so they can also stand out. Uh, so that's what uh, the whole program is about, uh, really, in a nutshell. Um, and what have you already done? Oh, about what? the community or what's like initiatives or programs you have already started? Uh, what have we done in the community? We offered quite a bit of uh, uh, workshops for parents, um, advising them on certain things. We've talked about uh, special ed, education, we've talked about mental health, we've talked about even eating. Mm -hmm. How do we eat? Like healthy um, healthy, healthy eating. Uh, what type of foods do we eat? Mm -hmm. Do we continue boiling our broccoli <laughs> or do we steam them? Yeah. So we've talked about different things. We've talked about ways to um, improve uh, kids' learning. And currently, what we have uh, happening, uh, it's a book club. So we're offering a book club for kids. We, as teachers, really, because almost everyone in there is a teacher. Uh, we found that uh, the African child sometimes is uh, timid. Or either they are shy or they lack the ability to express themselves mm -hmm. uh, well in class and so we, we, we have been offering book clubs mm -hmm. for kids so we are still looking for more kids to join because there's still more to more kids to help or yeah. more kids to support in the community so the book club is what we are currently doing to again increase our uh, kids uh, proficiency their comprehensions and learning uh, skills, get them to think about books, leave the computer and uh, internet and games and stuff for a few hours a, a week and join the book club to read and uh, socialize and learn how to uh, socialize because a lot of our kids do not know how to socialize. Um, a lot of them do not know how to say, oh, I, I, I didn't do this right. I, I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah. So some programs we want to start are counseling services. Um, we, you know, counseling and studying or teaching goes hand in hand. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're a teacher, you're a counselor, you're a mother, you're everything in the classroom. <laughs> you know, you're, oh yeah, you yourself, you're a teacher, so you know. Um, so offering that counseling services would be great for the program. Yes. And so uh, we are looking for support from anyone who would like to volunteer their time, their uh, resources to uh, help uh, the African community uh, with counseling services. Uh, most of the counseling services too will look into guiding a student who is transitioning from one um, area to another on what type of programs to study or you know like, like guidance really how to move forward and choose the right type of uh, programs to study and to pursue. Um, so that's what we are looking for. The goal was actually to start this program in a face-to-face -face environment, but unfortunately, because of the, the pandemic and isolation and all of that, we couldn't meet face-to-face, -face. and so we're offering our programs online. Um, the book club is online, uh, but the hope is that we get our own location, and so we can meet face-to-face. -face. There's just something about meeting face-to-face -face which uh, helps uh, kids and their emotions and you know, so that's what we, uh, we are looking for now. In the future, do you want to completely transition to offline when that's possible, or do you want to use more of a hybrid model, online and offline, or just just? Uh, the hybrid model will be great. Okay. Uh, because uh, currently we have kids in the program who are in Montreal yeah. and other uh, places, 
in Canada. So it would be really good to keep the hybrid model yeah. and, and keep some kids online and still be able to offer it, yeah. even though they are not in the GTA, right? Yeah. And, but it would be great. Definitely face-to-face -face is always perfect. It's okay. fantastic. Face someone, talk yeah. to someone, and interact in that direct contact way. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really good question. So bridging the gaps would mean that, again, getting follow-up, following up, doing the book club and seeing change. Yeah. That's the main idea. Yeah. So if I see a change in a child's reading level, yeah. okay, so they joined the club and they, they couldn't even read a whole sentence without um, omission. You know? Some kids read and they, they skip over words because they don't, they don't know how to pronounce a word. It's easier to skip over it than to read it yeah. or to say it, pronounce it. So if I can see the child mm -hmm. avoiding all or making that le less of a mistake yeah. and becoming better readers, yeah. that's a way, that would mean a lot. That would mean that we are bridging the gap. So that's where we are looking to, to, to get to. We get to the point where the child is confident in reading, they are proficient and making great meaning when they read, they are able to debate, question things mm -hmm. and so on. That's, that, that's our goal. Who can we benefit from? We can benefit from anyone. Uh, government organizations, um, companies, different companies uh, who are interested in supporting different communities. We can benefit from individuals, um, even the, the, I mentioned counseling. Uh, any counselor who would like to come on board, it's a non-profit and offer their services, free services or maybe at a reasonable cost. Of course, uh, we can benefit from anyone. So it's definitely going beyond just literacy, right? That you're it's it's going beyond literacy. Okay. Uh, because the mind, the mind works well when it's subtle. Yeah. Um, if a child is traumatized, it's really hard for them to read. So what's the point of putting a child in a book club when there's something bigger than um, literacy disturbing them? Yeah. Something bigger than that. Yeah. And that could be the mind. Yeah. It's not in a good place to, to read. So. But, yeah. Thank you. And then lastly, uh, what are some of the oh, sorry and the types of help we need to achieve some great impact in our community? So again, just going back to the uh, what are some type of helps we yeah. need? Yeah. Uh, well, financial support would be great. Yeah. Uh, volunteering would be great. Yeah. Um, so I'm mentioning volunteering because currently yeah. we can expand. Yeah. We can reach more than we are currently doing yeah. but if we reach more yeah. and capacity is too big how yeah. how are we going to control control it yeah. and so anyone who is uh, ready to read with kids yeah. uh, ready to support in any way uh, yeah. it will be great yeah those are the type of helps that we need yeah. and uh, i'm glad that uh, this is still ongoing that we haven't given up yet and we are not going to give up because uh, our kids need support and we all know it. Thank you for taking the time to talk okay. to me. Thank you for answering the questions. Yep. Thank okay. you so much.